now you can go ahead and fin slip stitch into the next stitch over and go ahead and finish off. Then go ahead and stuff the inside of the body. And don't worry if you don't get the neck completely stuffed because after you're sewing the head on, before you completely close off the rest of the neck, you can finish stuffing more craft stuffing into the neck portion. So now you're going to want to take the head and just center the front of the face with the front of the body and then you're going to sew with the same colored yarn the head to the neck portion. So just take your tapestry needle and you're going to go through the stitch, the top stitch on the neck portion and then go right next to the stitch and go back into the stitch on the head portion and that's how you're going to sew the neck to the head. So this is what it looks like after I sewed the neck in place. Now if you need to, if the head is going too much forward, you can pull this back portion of the neck down and sew it in place and, put, and that just creates a wrinkle if you need to. But I'm happy with how it turned out. So now you can just set your dog aside because we're going to make the legs. So for my legs, I made two with a different color for the paw, the same color. And then I just used a solid color for the back legs. So you can do that or you can make them all with a different color for the paw. So the first thing you're going to do is start with whatever color that you want for your paw. And then you're going to start with the magic circle. So you just take your yarn, place it around your four, on top of your four fingers, use your thumb to stabilize, and then wrap the yarn around your two middle fingers and hold it in place with your pinky and your thumb. Then you just take your crochet hook, go right under those two loops, go ahead and bring up a loop, and then yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through that loop for a slip knot. Then you're going to place six single crochet into the magic circle. Then just take your forefinger and your thumb and just hold the base of the six single crochet. You have these two loops on the opposite side. Go ahead and pull on one of them. If it doesn't close, let go and pull on the other one, but this one's closing. And then take that loose yarn end and pull on that. Then you're just going to take your crochet hook and you're going to place two single crochet into every stitch around until you have a total of 12 stitches in the round. So two single crochet into every stitch around and again you're going to end up with 12 stitches in the round. Then you can take and turn your work over and pull on that loose yarn end until you've closed the center of the magic circle. Then just get a loose yarn in, place it right where you left off, and then we're going to make our increase rounds. So for those of you that already know how to make increase rounds, we're going to be increasing to one single crochet into eight stitches, and then two single crochet into the ninth stitch. So for the rest of the people that have never done it before, the first increase round is going to be one single crochet into the first stitch, and then two single crochet into the second stitch. And you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So that's one single crochet into one stitch, and then two single crochet into the second stitch. And then just repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So now I have 18 total stitches in the round. Go ahead and take and move the yarn marker up and place it right where you left off. And this time you're going to make one single crochet into two stitches. 
and then two single crochet into the third stitch and then you're just going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker so now you should have 24 stitches in the round and this will be the last time that I tell you the stitch count because all you have to do is just add six to whatever previous stitch count that you had for example the last stitch count we had was 18 if you add six to that you get 24 and then the next one you'll just add six to that and then that gives you 30. So you just keep adding six and then that will give you your stitch count. And we're continuing in chronological order. So just take your yarn marker, move it right up to where you left off. And this time you're gonna make one single crochet into three stitches. And then two single crochet into the fourth stitch. And then you're gonna repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So then for your next increase round it'll be one single crochet into four stitches and then two single crochet into the fifth stitch. So you're going to continue just increasing just like we've been doing. So the next one will be one single crochet into five stitches and then two single crochet into the sixth. And you're going to continue and stop when you get to one single crochet into eight stitches and then two single crochet into the ninth stitch and then come back. So now after you finished your last increase round which should have been one single crochet into eight stitches and then two single crochet into the ninth stitch you should have a total of 60 stitches in the round. Then, then you're just going to take your yarn marker and move it up to where you left off and for only one round you're going to make one single crochet into every stitch around. So only one round of one single crochet in every stitch around. So now you're going to take and move your yarn marker up and we're going to make 17 decrease stitches and what that's going to do is form the paw, the front portion of the paw. So to make a decrease stitch you're going to be single crocheting two stitches together. Just take your crochet hook, go into the next stitch over bring up a loop and then go into the next stitch over and bring up a loop. You have three loops on the hook. Go ahead and yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through all three for a decrease stitch or it's also called single crochet two stitches together. So that was our first one and again you're going to be making a total of 17 of these. This was our first one. I'm going to make the second one with you. Just go into that next stitch over and bring up a loop and then go into the next stitch over and bring up a loop. Three loops on the hook, go ahead and yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through all three for your second decrease stitch or single crochet two stitches together. So go ahead, repeat this 17 times and then come back. And again, that was our second one. So you want a total of 17. So these count as your first two. So then after you finish your 17 single crochet two stitches together, this is how your work should look, then you just make one single crochet into each of the remaining stitches back to the yarn marker. So only one single crochet into each of the remaining stitches back to the yarn marker. So now go ahead and move the yarn marker up and we're going to get ready to make the next round and you should have a total of 43 stitches in the round at this point. So for this next round make one single crochet into every stitch around for one round. So now after you finish that round, go ahead and move the yarn marker up to where you left off. And this time you're going to make eight single crochet two stitches together. So you just go right into the next stitch, bring up a loop, go into the next stitch and bring up a loop, then yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through all three for a single crochet two stitches together. So go ahead and make a total of eight and then come back. So after you finish eight 
single crochet two stitches together. This is how mine's looking so far. You can see the little pouch for the front of the pock being created. Then you're just going to finish making one single crochet into every remaining stitch back to the yarn marker. So only one single crochet into each of the remaining stitches back to the yarn marker. So now you should have a total of 35 stitches in the round. Go ahead and move your yarn marker up and you're going to make one round of one single crochet in every stitch around. So only one round of one single crochet in every stitch around. So now go ahead and move the yarn marker up and this will be our last single crochet two together for the front of the paw and this time you're going to make six single crochet two stitches together. So go ahead finish making six single crochet two stitches together and then one single crochet into each of the remaining stitches just like you've done on the other rounds and then come back. So now you should have a total of 29 stitches in the round and you have a gorgeous little out pouching for the front of the paw. Now go ahead and move the yarn marker up and you're going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for a total of two rounds and then come back. So after you finish two rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around go ahead and continue making one single crochet in every stitch until you're in the back of the paw. And then in the back of the paw is where you can change colors if you want to. So for mine, I'm keeping it all the same color, but I just wanted to show those that if you started with a beige colored yarn and you want to change colors, all I did for mine was I brought up a loop into the next stitch over. So you have two loops on your hook and then you would bring your new color in and then bring that color through both loops. And then you would tie a knot and just cut the previous colored yarn and then just start crocheting with your new color. But for mine, I'm keeping this paw all the same color. I just wanted to show those that want to change colors how to do it. So now you know that you've had two rounds completed. You can go ahead and remove your yarn marker for now. And you're going to go ahead and stuff the paw with craft stuffing. Then just take your black colored yarn on your tapestry needle and you can see how I stuffed mine with craft stuffing and you're going to take and make the little toes. So you just take your black yarn on the tapestry needle and you're going to go underneath and I go just above the magic circle so about after the first round after the magic circle right in the center and then I'm going to go up through the center of the paw. So you want to come out in the center then just take your tapestry needle and then go right back in where you first went in with the needle right above the magic circle and then you're going to come out about a couple of stitches over and then just pull the yarn through and make sure that as you pull the yarn through that you center that center part of the paw and then pull it snugly down so you want to pull it so it creates the um, two pouches on both sides. Then you're going to take your tapestry needle and you're going to go over about two stitches from the initial place that you went in and then you're going to come out on the opposite side about the same distance 
on the other side and again you want to watch where the line falls so make sure you move it over and then just gently and snugly pull the yarn so that it creates as an out, out pouch here you have one here and then we're going to make the last one two on this side so you're going to take your tapestry needle and you're going to go in about two stitches over from the center again and you're going to come out in the center so just bring the tapestry needle through so that it's coming out right where you went in initially. And then just move the black yarn over and then just gently pull it snugly. And then you create your adorable little paw. Then you can take and just tie a knot with the loose yarn ends and then we're going to bury those loose yarn ends so go ahead and trim the black yarn and then you're just going to take those loose yarn ends and then go right in where you tied your knot and then come out and then just trim the loose yarn end. So then after you finish the toes you can take and place your yarn marker where you left off and then you're just going to make one single crochet in every stitch around until you have a total of 42 rounds. Then, when you make your other feet, you know, just make sure that you always do it the same way and complete the same number of rounds so you have the same length for your foot for the dog. So, for mine, I'm making an additional 42 rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around. And again, I have 29 stitches in the round. So I'm going to maintain the 29 stitches in every round for an additional 42 rounds. So then, after you finish your rounds, you can go ahead and place your craft stuffing into the leg. And we're going to get ready to close the leg up. So now, you're just going to make single crochet two stitches together all the way around until you're almost closed. So go ahead, finish making single crochet two stitches together until you're almost closed and then come back. And then when you're almost closed, you can go ahead and skip a stitch, go under the next stitch yarn over, turn the hook upside down and bring the yarn through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch. And you're just going to make slip stitches all the way around until the leg is closed. So before you close, make sure that you have enough craft stuffing in the leg. And then you're just going to completely close the leg by making slip stitches all the way around my last slip stitch. Then you can go ahead and finish off. Just yarn over, turn the hook upside down and bring the yarn through the loop and then cut it. Mine's already cut. And then you can bury your loose yarn end. Just take your tapestry needle, go right in where you finished off and then come out anywhere and then just trim the loose yarn end. And you're going to need four of these. So now I would recommend using the upholstery needle and I use my 12 inch upholstery needle. When you use these you have to be very careful because it, they are very sharp and very long but for these large amigurumi they work really well. 
So the first thing you want to do is take your zipper pouch, if you have one, and pull out the inner compartment because you don't want to go through the inner compartment with your yarn and needle as you're placing the legs. So I have mine completely out. And then you're just going to want to take and get the same colored yarn onto your needle and we're going to get ready to put the legs on. So the first thing you want to do is grab two of your legs and I'm using the one that I had the beige colored paw both of those for the front legs. I'm going to take one of them and you want to make sure that the paws are facing forward and then you're going to go into the side of the, the paw or the foot and you want to make sure that you're go, you go down approximately one, two, three, four rounds with your tapestry needle and I mean upholstery needle. If you have your tapestry needle you can use that too. It's just a little bit more difficult. Then you're going to come out on the opposite side and I try to come out in one of the holes, crochet holes, on the opposite side. I'm going to go a little bit lower. And you can see that it's even on both sides and my paw is facing forward. And then you're going to bring the yarn through but make sure you leave enough yarn on the opposite side so that it doesn't go back through the leg. And you want enough to bury your loose yarn end. And then you want to go through the body. And for mine, I went approximately one, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen rounds up from the bottom edge on the side panel. And I went back two, four, six, about seven stitches in from the front of the body. And you want to make sure that you're coming out on the opposite side at the exact same level. And for mine, I leave approximately two inches or more, about two to three inches between the leg and the body. And then on the opposite side, you're going to go through the opposite leg the same way. And then, after you've gone through the leg, you're going to go back through the leg about a stitch over. So just go about a stitch over and you're going to go right back through the leg and come out about a stitch over on the opposite side. So I'm going back in the leg and out the opposite side. And then I go back through the body the exact same way. So I'm going to go about a stitch over on the body and I'm going to go back through the body. Now I've gone through the body and back through the leg and then you want to go back through one more time. So I'm going to go back through both the legs, the body, and back to where I started one more time. So now I have four strands of yarn between the body and the legs and then you're ready to cinch the yarn, the legs, down. So you just pull on the two yarn strands. Now if you come upon resistance, don't, don't keep pulling on it because you might snap your yarn. What you do is you just take and pull on one yarn strand at a time, gently. And then you just pull the legs close to the body as snugly as you want them. Then you can take and just tie a knot. And I've already tied, tied it twice and then tie it the third time. And then you're ready to just bury the loose yarn ends. I just use my tapestry needle for that. Just put the loose yarn end onto the tapestry needle and then you're going to go right back in where you tied your knot and then come out on the opposite side and then you just trim your loose yarn end and then you're going to do the same thing with the other loose yarn end and then you attach the back legs the exact same way just make sure that your back legs are level with the front legs and that your paws are facing forward so on the back legs I made sure I was even with the front legs 
And for mine, it was about 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 21 stitches in and 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 stitches up. So this is what he looks like so far and he's just really adorable. Here's his legs and the zipper on the back. So now I'm going to show you how to make the tail. So for the tail, we're going to start with the same colored yarn as the body and we're going to make a magic circle. So you're just going to drape the yarn across your four fingers, use your thumb to stabilize, then wrap the yarn around your two middle fingers and hold it in place with your pinky and your thumb. Then just take your crochet hook, you're going to bring up a loop and then yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through the loop for a slip knot. Then you're going to place six single crochet into the magic circle. Then just take your forefinger and thumb, hold the base of the six single crochet, and then go ahead and close it. So just pull on one of those two loops on the opposite side. If it doesn't close, let go and pull on the other loop. Then take that loose yarn end and pull on that. And then just turn your work, and then make two single crochet into every stitch around until you have a total of 12 stitches in the round. So two single crochet into every stitch around until you have a total of 12 stitches in the round. So now you should have 12 stitches in the round. If you need to you can turn it over and pull on that loose yarn end on the back. Then place your yarn marker and you're going to make one single crochet in every stitch around. So one single crochet in every stitch around. So now just make one single crochet in every stitch around for 40 rounds and then make a slip stitch into the next stitch over. Just yarn over, pull the yarn through both loops for a slip stitch and then finish off. Just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to sew the tail onto the back of your dog. Then just center the tail on the back of the dog and then just go in and out sewing all around the base of the tail.